When souls pick destinies at causal plane, how do they coordinate with other souls? Or are other players in our story just created experience? How do we know that we are not an experience in someone else's story? When souls pick destinies at causal plane, how do they coordinate with other souls or other players in our story just created experiences? How do we know that we are not an experience in someone else's story? Correct answer, there is no someone else. There is only one self. All other selves are created by one self. There is one soul. All souls are created from one soul and are within that one soul. It's just an experience of the many within one soul. This experience, which I can't call experience because not in time, takes place in your true home. True home gives you the real truth. That there is only one total consciousness, never split. It's still total, remains total. And the experience of the many souls is the experience of one soul. And each one of us right now, thinking we are all separated, are participating in that one soul. We never left it. When will you discover that? Go not only above the mind, go above the individuated souls. That is the true home where you discover the whole show. What's happening here is happening there. Nothing is happening anywhere else except within that one soul. All rest is created by that one soul. There are no others to coordinate with. It looks strange right now, sitting in this physical world. We are so many people. How can we be one? We are not one in that sense. As an experience, we are many. The experiencer is one. When you have a dream at night and you see many people there and you ask each other, are we all dreaming or only one is dreaming? They say, no, no. how can all be dreaming? We are all together here. You wake up, only one dreamer. All the others were part of the same dream. It's identical to that. When you, supposing you think that this journey, spiritual journey, awareness is waking up, a series of wakefulnesses, because we have been called in deep sleep, one dream, then dream took place within the dream, then dream took place within the dream. We have had six levels of dreams. The last level is right here. Maybe there's one more, maybe two more. Dreams within dreams, we can even have now. When you wake up, all the people you saw, all the objects you saw, everything you saw was part of your one dreamer. It was part of one dream. If you wake up, it will again be one dream, but many other dreamers. You wake up again, one dream with many others, and finally one dreamer, no others, all others were part of that dream. So that is why there is no problem of coordination at all. It's a complete creation every time we are here. This was such a big problem for me, not talking of souls. I was talking of karma. That when we say we have karma with people, and we come back and meet the same people again. I was thinking what kind of computer that lord of death or lord of birth, rebirth is working on that he can tie up thousands of people we meet now and then he can readjust that they can all come back again in our life again just to pay off karma. It's very difficult. Here they have in the lottery, they give I think six numbers and there are millions of choices of numbers. And sometimes one person, sometimes nobody wins a lottery because the odds are so much against just finding out six numbers out of 80. It looks very simple. It's very difficult. Look at the odds. There will be trillions and trillions of that. Odds of having the same number of people coming together for, for getting their karma paid off. It took me a long time to realize when we come, we think they are the same people. We create the same people. Each one carries a complete universe. Including the karma that plays out. It's within the same totality of consciousness. And that is why there is no coordination needed at all. It's your own experience that you generated. And when you meet people, it's part of your experience. It's 
cause and effect is applying to your experience. Then nobody has to share that experience. Are there any others? Eventually you'll find out there was no other. The self that you are feeling inside you right now, the self that is making you see this world is the same self. That's totality. Let me give you an example. Supposing you have a dream. In the dream, you are young, very small. You see, I am a little child. I, I thought I was a big person. How could become a child? In a dream, you can do that. Is that child in the dream the same self? That's the big one who's dreaming or different? You see the body is a child. The self is the same. The self that is awake in dream remains the same self. No matter whether it's a change of form or not. That is why there was a, I gave the example of a Chinese philosopher who had a dream that he was a butterfly. He dreamt that he was a butterfly and he was flying in a garden which looked so much different, so much more real than the gardens he had seen. The flowers were alive, radiating light and color. He had never seen them before. He was flipping around with his wings as a butterfly, seeing that garden. And he said, this is reality compared to what he saw as a human being. And then he woke up to the dream. He then began to wonder, am I really far in a human being who had a dream that he was a butterfly or am I really a butterfly who is now dreaming that I am far in? He told his friends, he was a philosopher, he consulted other philosophers, he said, I had such a strange dream that I was a butterfly. They said, don't be stupid, you can't be a butterfly, you are a human being. You should say you saw a butterfly. He said, I never saw a butterfly. I was flying. The same self that is Swaheen was the same butterfly and the self could not be changed. You'll be surprised no matter what condition you are, dreaming, awake, higher levels, highest level, same self. Self will never change. What will happen will be you realize the dreamlike nature of creation and you ultimately find you are that one who created it all. There is nothing outside of it. So there is no question of coordination. If you know the truth, it's all happening within one totality of consciousness. One single consciousness. I don't want to use the word single because that means there may be more than one. There is no more than one. That's where we really want to. You have everything there. Some people think we have come away from there. That we have been dropped from there into this physical world and we have to go back there and the physical world won't be there. Nothing is outside of that. A perfect living master is one who is operating even as a human being from there. So therefore he is in contact with all levels of consciousness 24-7. He is not remembering something that he had experienced. That is all mental. A perfect living master is in touch with all levels of consciousness including totality at all times. Therefore, he knows this is part of the same. Everything that is happening at any level of consciousness is all happening within that one. So that is why it's only a mental question we ask here because we think we are really divided. That's what we see. That's what we experience. Experience of many has been generated. Why? Because consciousness is conscious of an experience and experience is separated from the consciousness in order to become an experience, otherwise it remains an experiencer. When the experiencer has an experience, the manyness is created right there. Purpose of the manyness. If one is love, and I mentioned that, people say God is love, the Creator is love. I have heard that in almost every religion, that the Creator is love. But it is love, but not the experience of love. The manyness is the experience. Love becomes an experience. Knowledge becomes an experience. Everything that is in the one, in totality of consciousness, becomes an experience by creating the many. And the many are first created at that very level. So in our true home, 
we are one and many at the same time because there is no time and you can experience both. That's a unique experience. You can't have it here. You can't have it at the astral plane. You can't have it at the causal plane. You can't have it at the spiritual plane. You can have it at the top. At the top you get the real experience where the one and the many are experienced together. Now somebody who's having that experience sitting amongst us, supposing comes like a human being, ordinary human being sits with us, we can never have any idea what that person is experiencing. What is, it's not an experience even. What is knowing? What is aware of? And awareness is completely total. And that is why when you have that awareness, you come to know the truth. The truth is there is only one consciousness. And within that consciousness, everything has been created as experience, including the manyness, including the minds, including the separation, including physical planes. And when you reach there, everything is put together.